Hey beautiful people, what's up? It is Tim and welcome to my favorite channel here on YouTube, Draw Too Much, where I get to do all sorts of crazy drawings for you guys. And today we're going to do another challenge. This is going to be a 15 minute challenge to draw Father Time. Kind of a special request from someone who's been a very long supporter on this channel. And I figured that why not? I'd give it a shot. We'll follow through with it and see what happens. I have no idea what Father Time looks like. I haven't even looked any reference up. I'm just going to go for it. I have 15 minutes on the clock. The goal is to do 10 minutes of drawing time and then 5 minutes of coloring time. And that's 15 minutes grand total. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. This is always nerve-wracking. I push so hard to get this to work exactly the way I want. And it's usually pretty intense for me. So sit tight. It's going to be a really crazy ride as we do this. And uh, we're going to see what happens here because this is, this is going to be intense. Uh, so get ready, guys. Uh, starting the clock in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. All right, it's going. I wasn't sure for a second there. I need to get a marker, which I should have done before I started to save time. Okay, so Father Time. Let's talk about Father Time. What could Father Time look like? I think Father Time is tired. I think he's really tired. He's bone weary. He's got a lot of stuff on his mind. He's always dealing with time. There's not enough time in the world for him. And so, so that needs to be put in here. And so basically Father Time, the thing about Father Time is he's pretty much like what, a mortal or something like that? I believe in God personally, but if we're deciding to agree with the idea of Father Time, uh, noses, they never stop growing through your life. Your nose is always going to grow. And, and that's something that just happens because, yeah, uh, that's life. So all of us will end up having super humongous schnozzes, and thankfully uh, most of us don't get that far to have an ugly schnoz. But Father Time, if he lived through all of time and he's dealing with all of time, that means that he's dealing also with super schnoz syndrome, if you will, which means super long schnoz. So, so maybe he's not too happy about that. Also, he's old, so we got to make sure he looks super aged, give him some lots of laugh lines, which if in his case, there's not, a much, not enough time in life. So I don't know if he's going to actually have laugh lines, but he's definitely going to be tuckered out, per se. Uh, I do think that Father Time is going to also deal with uh, an issue with shaving. So maybe, maybe every time he shaves, his beard comes back like three times as long or whatever. Kind of like, maybe like uh, uh, Santa Claus. Maybe he and Santa Claus get together once a week and have a my beard never shrinks kind of morning kind of thing. So maybe we should do that and make sure that's really long. Um, his hair, well, Father Time, you know, he didn't get so lucky when it comes to hair. Um, he was like a lot of us poor schmucks where he kind of lost most of his hair. Maybe he just gets this hair stuck on the side over here, okay? So like that. And then he's constantly looking at the watch, so maybe we should give him like little, little tiny uh, spectacles of sorts. And there we go. That's the face of Father Time. And maybe we'll put him in some kind of hoodie sort of thing, kind of like, um, kind of like a monk, like a, like a, like a monk. And we'll put the sash on him, and on here we'll put 2016, because that's the one he's supposed to wear while the little baby, newborn baby, whatever the newborn year is supposed to be that kid's coming in and he's got on his 2017 sash which we're not going to draw on here but i think that this is kind of funny so i think we got a really fun process going here i think it's time to go ahead and start inking it up so i'm just going to go right in here with my inking and just start quickly knocking stuff together here we want to make sure to make him look super tired we're going to give him like these really big tall eyes and then we're going to make sure that all of the bags under his eyes are showing and age has not treated him well. Um, Father Time doesn't have time to go and get his hair cut or shave for that matter, like we were saying. So maybe he needs to really have that show and, and we'll put up his eyes really big here and get these crazy bags. Let's go ahead and start working on the nose, which I'm gonna do with a very heavy, bold outline because I want it to stand out in front of his face I want it to obviously look like it's going way off into the distance, you know, and, and he doesn't have much of a choice about that. Um, maybe uh, we can put some skin issues on his face or something like that, you know. Maybe he's got uh, serious pimple issues 
Mm, like Dr. Pimple Popper would want to go to tan on his face and something. So maybe we'll put a couple really big open pores and a and uh, and some some really crazy big bumps on there. There we go. Let's get these glasses drawn in here as well. Gonna go right over top of his eyes and they're big tight glasses that are just gonna barely make their way over to the ears. Maybe they're just barely hooked onto the ears. And then we're gonna get these ears in here, which are gonna be super huge. If I'm correct, ears continue to grow as well as you get older. I'm not so certain about that one. But just to make sure, let's give him general Monsieur Lobes. You know, father time, he likes the bling. So, you know, if you ever wanted to have earrings, he could totally pull that off. But, you know, at his age, he's more cantankerous more than anything. So maybe not so much so. We'll give him these big crazy eyebrows, and due to lack of time, he will have black eyebrows instead of white, which would make a lot more sense, but I'm already at 10 minutes, and I'm barely done inking here. We're going to go ahead and give him a big head, and then as it comes around here, we're going to go ahead and give him some hair that is swooshing in the wind with whatever is left, you know, give him a little tiny bit of a comb over here, just a couple lines for the comb over. And there we go. Starting to look like something. Uh, let's go ahead and work on the laugh line coming down here now. And I'm actually doing really good. I'm having fun with this one, too. We're only at 9 minutes and 44 seconds. Um, so I have a little bit of time left at about 5 minutes. That's why I need to really get into the color. So we're going to give him some, some tired lips, you know, and make sure that this laugh line is really pulling down on his mouth and you can just see the weight of the world hanging off of his <laughs> off of his humongous beard that he's got going on here um, but he could never grow a mustache you know he always wanted the stash and he never could get it and so he just had to deal with a super long patchy beard which just did not it did not really settle on what was what he thought would be good but we're gonna have to take it all the way off the paper here because it's just so incredibly long there's just no way to even begin to start even capturing it. And we want it to look nice and flowy. You know, the long, beautiful locks of hair that really should belong on the top of his head, but he just wasn't that lucky. And, and even Father Time can't choose his personal hairstyles anymore. And at this age of, of thousands and thousands and thousands of years... You know, now, I personally believe in God, but if there was such a thing as Father Time, then certainly, you know, he might not get to pick his personal styles. Because don't you think if, if all these big, crazy Grecian gods got to pick, they'd all be, like, really pretty handsome, you know, rugged guys getting all the girls? Well, you know, Father Time, he just, he doesn't have the time. He, he just can't think about that. He's so busy, so locked up into everything he has to do to keep the world running. You know, kind of like um, Allison, not Allison, um, uh, what is it? Um, Look Through the Looking Glass, whatever her name is. Um, I, I totally forget the name. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. We have a friend named Allison, so it's really easy to get that confused with Alice. That's who. It's Alice. I know him anywhere. Uh, there we go. All right, so we are at 7 minutes and 47 seconds. Let's turn off this background layer and see what we got. We got our really old-looking grumpy guy here. Totally works. Let's go ahead and put some furrows on that brow there and really start making him look like, you know, Father Time. Maybe give him some heavy wrinkles in his head. Uh, I like this big, heavy brow that's on this side, so maybe we'll go ahead and do these lines here to kind of give him that weight in the head. There you go. That's looking like a very bummed out father time, okay? Maybe we'll carry this lip down here kind of like that and thicken this line up because he needs a big schnoz. There we go. All right, so father time's coming along just fine with seven minutes left on the clock. I think we may actually get to color a little bit early, <clears throat> which is amazing. So let's go ahead and go like this. And, of course, we want 2,000... 16 on here and I'm gonna put a through line here so it's kind of like he's been he's been coming from 2016 okay and start working on color I'm gonna go ahead and mark that layer and we're just gonna start putting in color as much as possible here now really quickly something that I want to do is make sure that all my lines here are closed off because that's gonna really help in my fills when it's time to start doing fills here which we got to get to those right away and I'm just making sure that all these areas here are closed off so that we don't have any leaking out onto any other surfaces. I think we have it. Um, so let's go ahead and make this my reference layer. Now, now he's going to be pretty 
pale, I think. So we're gonna we're gonna really pale him up here. There we go, um, and get these colors in here as much as we can. No, that's not part of his face. All right, here we'll have to make some adjustments. I think if I have the time. Uh, we're going to start running out of time here. We're at five minutes, so now I'm really into the color section here. And now I need to really start busting booty and getting this done. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give him kind of a, a tired, old-looking robe here. So we're just going to fill these in. Bip, bip, bip. Okay. And, of course, um, we're going to give him a, a sash. And, and maybe we'll make the sash a little worn and dingy kind of blue. Um, and, and there we go. Okay. So, so far so good. Let me go ahead and take a better look at the beard here and quickly draw in what I think needs to be fixed. I think that this line needs to come up to here. Oops, wrong color. So that line needs to come up to there and kind of connect there just like that. And there you go. So that's not even, doesn't even look right. Because <laughs> this line comes over here. Ah! No, 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 no. What do I got? I got four minutes and 55 seconds left. Uh, now, personally for me, guys, 2016 has been awesome. I've had a wonderful year with my wife. Business has been wonderful. You guys have been humongous support here on the YouTube channel. So I don't have anything to complain about. So um, I'm sorry for anyone who's had a rough year this year, lost a loved one, uh, dealt with anything uh, that's just been... Uh, just against everything that you've been dealing with, I'm going to go ahead and start putting in some quick shadows here since we're down to 4 minutes and 23 seconds. And I just, I want, I want to let you guys know I'm praying for y'all. I love you all. You're all amazing. You're all super support. And, and there's just such a humongous community in here that is so incredibly supportive. And I am so selfish and I, and I thrive on you guys and all of your awesome comments. And I, I try to learn from everything that you're that you're you know showing me and and everything that we're talking about together is is I learn to teach you guys better or I learn to try and do things differently or try to be more funny or whatever or try to make uh, a YouTube channel that's you know actually pushing to get better and bigger and more interesting and more exciting and you guys have just been really amazing this year and you've helped me get to these points. And I just want to say thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. My wife and I both thank you. Thank you so much for the support that's uh, been keeping the business going from my patrons. Uh, and thank you to everyone who comes and watches the videos. Um, that even helps me out through something as simple as Google advertising and watching the stupid Google ads that actually really, really help me to continue uh, keep my business going because I get a like a hundred bucks every every six months or so, which. You know what? It's a hundred bucks, and and my wife and I are very thankful for that. So we appreciate you guys for putting up for those with those things, so that we can keep going here. And I'm still a full time graphic designer by day, and I do this by night and stuff. And and you guys are just so incredibly supportive when I don't get things out on time, and and there is no time. Um, I don't have a time. I don't. No one knows when my next video comes out. I don't know when my next video is going to come out, just because I don't. I can't guarantee how long it's going to take. But that's never stopped you guys. You guys are always there and you guys are always ready to support. And and you've just made my 2016 amazing. And I believe without a shadow of a doubt that you're going to continue to be that support and continue to spoil me just because of who you are and how amazing you guys are. And we're going to go into 2017 excited and ready for even more bigger and better adventures and even more bigger and better art. And you and I are going to improve. And when we look back here at this drawing in 2016, we're going to be twice the artists that we were before. And we can look back and laugh at uh, how simple some of this artwork was and how far we've come. Yeah, he looks great. That looks absolutely excellent. Um, and Father Time, buddy, you're looking a little beat up, but I love you. You look great. So there you go. That's Father Time. I'm definitely pleased with that. I think we need to sign this off. I think uh, this one's definitely a cool piece with a minute and 37 seconds left. And guys, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed yet, or subscribe as we like to, subscribe is what we like to call it, please do so. And just because 20 17. It's not quite there, but it's close enough. We're at 10.41 p.m. tonight. We're so close. So we'll put 2016 to 2017.
We're right on it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Remember to take a look at my advanced tutorials on drawtoomuch.com. If you want to become a patron, you get all those tutorials for free. Uh, once you become a patron at like even the $1 value supporting one video, it's not exactly free, but at the same time, it's a lot cheaper than it would be if you bought them in the, uh, in the website. So it's up to you if you want to become a patron or go to the website and support me by purchasing them through there. Lots of tutorials there waiting for you. And then, of course... Follow me on Instagram. I love having you guys on Instagram. And uh, just look me up, Tim Michael Arts. Links are all in the description. Go check them out. And also, you can go take a look at my production company, Legacy Studio Productions, where I love making videos for you guys on a whole bunch of different YouTube channels here. I hope that you've enjoyed this drawing of Father Time. I really enjoyed it. And thank you so much, Eon, for your suggestion about drawing this guy in 15 minutes. And also thank you to another supporter who left a comment saying that I should continue to look for other ways to make more content for you guys and made some nice suggestions. Thank you very much. You know who you are. God bless y'all. I love you. Have a blessed 2017. Enjoy your celebration tonight. And I'll see you then. We have so much more to look forward to in 2017. Timer's beeping in my ears. It's actually kind of annoying. I'm going to stop that first, and then I'm going to hit stop. Bye.